Good afternoon, Lobos. Today we're going to talk to you about the new link that the Pasadena website is introducing to students. It is called Hear Something, See Something, Know Something, Say Something. You can locate it at the right hand corner of the website. Now, Ms. Bowser and Ms. Petty are going to talk to you about some different parts of the link. Once you get on there, it's gonna have you pick a topic. And one of them is abuse. This can be if you know somebody's being physically abused, emotionally abused, sexually abused, or if they're being neglected at home, you can report it and we can help them. Also, if you know that somebody is hurting themselves by cutting themselves, please let us know. That is a topic and we can get them the help that they need. They will not know who turned them in. Also, drugs or weapons. If you hear about anybody going to bring either of those things to school, you put it on this website and we can take care of it. It comes straight to us and we can help keep you safe. Other topics you can choose from on the website is bullying. So bullying is basically if you feel that someone is repeatedly and intentionally doing something or saying something to you and you feel threatened by it. Also cyberbullying. So if you're using social media, Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat, Facebook, and you're being mean or ugly to someone, that's cyberbullying. As well as suicide. So if you know someone who wants to hurt themselves or kill themselves and that's something else that it's very important that you report to us so that we can be helpful. Students, every month we practice safety drills such as fire, tornado, or shelter in place. It's important that we take these drills seriously. Our number one goal is to keep everyone here safe and in order to do that we need your help. Every drill requires you to move quickly and quietly and follow all the directions given from an adult. As Ms. Hernandez said, your safety is our number one importance. And so I want to remind you that all exterior doors are always locked for your safety. We've noticed that some of you are kind and let some staff members in, whether they work at De Zavala or they work for the district, or even sometimes you let some parents in. We are asking that you no longer do that. Although, again, we appreciate that you're trying to be kind, we want to keep safety first. All staff members have an ID, and so they should be able to come in the building easily, and district members have that as well. We put signs on every single exterior door, letting people know that they have to go to the main office. So if you see an adult trying to come in you can just point at the sign so that they know that they have to go to the front office to sign in and teachers and students if you see someone in our building who does not have either a district ID or if it's a parent they would have a pass a little sticky on their shirt if you see that they don't have one students make sure you report that to an adult immediately and staff members if you would just walk them to the front office so that they can check in properly and we can make sure that everybody on campus is checked in the way that they are supposed to be so if you hear something or see something or know something say, say something, something.